What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on Dragon Ball. This episode wasn't as exciting as the last, obviously, because we were so hyped from Jiren beating the crap out of Goku, and Goku beating the crap out of Jiren for like five seconds. But we should have all expected the fact that Hit was only going to, I guess put out his best fight but at the same time lose it really sucked to see him go out this way and at the same time we kind of saw a side of hit that hasn't been shown up until now he realized and and i like that vados basically broke it down for us uh explaining that he knew that normally he would do things alone but in order to actually accomplish anything in this competition or in this tournament he needed teamwork and he basically told Kaba, Kao, and Khalifa like look you have your own task you guys go fill it go do this and I'm gonna do my best to take out Jiren I really was proud of it hit and for what everything he did and I will say it's going to suck not going to not being able to see a hit versus uh, Vegeta fight, but we'll probably get this fight hopefully after the tournament. And speaking of Vegeta, we had Vegeta still fighting with Brienne, and Rosie intervenes. I'm not even sure why these two are still in the ring. Honestly, they need to be taken out. And seeing with Brienne losing faith and admitting that Universe 2 is losing a lot of fighters. Rosie pretty much just kind of knocked some sense into her, which to me was cool and all, but it was a waste of it. It was a waste of time, waste of screen time for both of them. Their elimination is more than guaranteed. It's coming. Um, I don't know if their universe will get destroyed. Honestly, I don't really care. I'm not a big fan of Universe 2 and what they've done. They don't prove to be very strong, so... I, I would like to maybe see maybe some more display of their power, a little more resolve, and maybe hopefully they, they, they can redeem themselves. I was happy to see the two Namekians, though, when they started to try to take a surprise attack on Goku, and Gohan and Piccolo intervened. It just set us up for a good fight of Namekian versus Namekian, which is something I was really looking forward to. Uh, since like I heard the whole announcement of the two missing fighters of Universe 6 being Namekian and they were even surprised to see Piccolo so it's going to be interesting to see how things play out I'm hoping that it's not going to be just like Gohan I'm going to sacrifice myself I'm going to be a I'm going to be your bodyguard because if that's the case honestly I'd rather not see Piccolo fight I really don't I want to see Piccolo actually do something you know, meaningful instead of just protecting Gohan. Hopefully, though, like I said, he will. But um, this fight, even though Hit was using time skip over and over and over again, it was pretty much just a prep to be able to use his final attack. And even even though it looked like it was going to work, and for some reason, I don't know why this came to mind to me, but that last blast that Hit was going to use looked a lot like, uh, like the the energy blast or destructive blast that we saw Frieza pretty much repel, and Goku had a hard time when Universe Nine tried to attack him. But obviously, it wasn't. But we we're seeing how Jiren pretty much was able to withstand Goku's full strength and hits full strength and still not feel that like and like damaged he pretty much took down hit with no complications whatsoever and this just sucks for hit honestly because I think this is going to be a real awakening for him um, I honestly don't I don't know you know, if he thought that this was his limitation 
I, I felt like he could have broken through it, but honestly, I don't know how much stronger he could have been. But, I th like I said, I think this is going to be probably a good opportunity for Hit to realize that teamwork is essential. And at the same time, that there's a lot more growth for him to you know, develop. And after the fight, like we see Jiren just kind of sit down and like, Alright, you guys take care of the rest. The only fighters I had to take care of are done. And he sees Goku and pretty much just tells him, like, everyone else is not worth my time. And Goku just kind of looks at him like, am I not worth your time? And he feels all, I guess, upset because he can't do anything about anything. Because he's still, I guess, out of commission. Uh, also, I was surprised with Frieza. Um, almost forgetting that. I thought he was going to kill him. But he gives some of his energy, which a lot of people were guessing. Um, I kind of thought that too, but initially, you know, it looked like he was going to kill him. And even Goku thought that. But he even says, like, all debts have been repaid. You know, go out there and beat that monster. You know, be a good, you know, be a good fighter. To me, it looks like Frieza is going to want to push Goku to take out Jiren. And if Jiren and Goku are out, he feels as though he has a strong chance of being the strongest fighter. Also, that hits out, so it makes sense. So I, I'm, I would like to see what Frieza has in store for, you know, us as viewers, or what he wants to do. But you know, it it, it just kind of sucks to see Jiren go. But but from the preview for the next episode, Vegeta is going to be helping out both Kaba and Goku. And trying to defend now that everyone is probably going to start attacking Universe 6. And we have Mona from Universe 4 already trying to start some mess, I guess. And trying to take him out. And Kappa looks like he's going to be having a hard time. And I think Vegeta is trying to get him to get stronger. So, from the, from the preview, it looks like this episode that's coming up may be the same as this one. A little lackluster because, let's be honest, the, the hype was, in fact, the last episode or the last two episodes. So, who knows what we're going to get. But hopefully, Kaba proves himself to Vegeta and to us as well. But guys, that is it for me. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I will catch you later. I am the king and will not be. I, 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 am, the, I, am, the, I am the king and king, king and will not be. I'm one, 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 I'm one,